what's going on, dudes and dudettes. I know it's been a couple days, but I have a few more things to look at right now. Just want to say, you know, Memorial Day today. We should all celebrate for the veterans here and now and in the past. Always remember them. They fought for us when they volunteered, most of them. And, you know, it's a very encourageable thing that they do every single time they're out there. And I want to give my thanks to all of them, especially a few of my cousins that were in, you know, the military as well. Uh, Alonzo and Jacob, thank you for everything you guys have done. And you know what? Let's get back to sports and enjoy this day and enjoy everyone around you. And let's get this going. clips of Grayson Allen's pro day with the Lakers and also I'm going against a guy named Kevin Huerter from he's a shooting guard from Maryland I forgot to mention him because I did some research on him before a few days ago and I didn't mention that he was going there with Grayson Allen and he is a pretty good player actually he, he might sneak up into the first round I'm hoping not because he could be a good option in the second round for the Lakers to get that shooting guard person that they need and go for somebody bigger, more athletic in the first round with that pick. But we'll see how that goes. You know, it's always great to see those pictures, especially Grayson Allen and Magic. They obviously look like they had a, a good workout together, a good time together. So that's always positive news. So let's get into some more stuff real quick. <music> And then also the Lakers are supposedly highly interested in Luka Donich. I think it just depends what team he goes to because then he'll probably come right away. And if not, he'll stay for another year or two depending where he gets drafted again. Or if they trade his rights to somebody that he would rather go to. I think it might be possible to trade up, but you'd have to give up. Uh, but, I mean, why get this player and have Lonzo Ball? You have to get rid of Lonzo Ball as well. So if you offer him and say, like, a first-round pick protected next year, then you could probably move up into that those top three teams, whether it's the Atlanta Hawks or, you know, Orlando Magic, you know, Sacramento Queens, you know, someone up there. You know, they might bite and you throw in another player like a Thomas Bryant or Vita Zubak. Just not, not anybody else bigger like a Kuzma, a Brandon Ingram, or a Josh Hart. You can't mess with those other three pieces. But we'll see how that goes. That might be interesting. He's supposedly going to be a really good, talented player. But you never know. These European dudes, they always come and then it's either really good or it takes a really long time. And then the Lakers workouts for tomorrow, of course. Uh, Tyus Battle is someone who I'm interested in. He played one year at Syracuse. He's a shooting guard, point guard. He was highly recruited to Duke as well, but of course he had to choose Syracuse. And he didn't perform really well the first half of the season, but towards the second half and then into March Madness, he did really well. And they advanced. I don't know how Syracuse always advances. They don't have really that many star players, but he proved that he's really good even for a young guy. So I'm kind of interested in him more than... I'm interested in Leangelo Ball, Lonzo Ball's younger brother coming in. We'll see how that goes. He's scheduled with the Lakers and Warriors so far, and I don't mind if he goes to the Warriors. He's not really a, a threat there as of yet. So let's keep this going, and these are more trade possibilities for the Lakers to either move up or get certain star players coming up and hopefully around July. Okay, we have the Lakers getting DeAndre Jordan from the Clippers, and the Clippers get Josh Hart, Lou Aldang, and a 2019 first round pick, top 10 protected for next year. I believe these are all scenarios to try to get rid of the Lou Aldang contract. It's just going to be tough for the Lakers to want to bring on a DeAndre Jordan, because if he does accept that 
money is going to be like almost $25 million and they're trying to be able to have enough money to sign, you know, two other players and then maybe make that trade and then pay the luxury tax. But we'll see how that goes. That's going to be pretty interesting. But I mean, with him and Ball, it could be, you know, something like what he had with CP3, but you never know. So let's get on to the next one with the Dallas Mavericks. So Lou All Dang, that crappy contract, Julius Randle and Avita Zubak all go to Dallas for Wesley Matthews, Dwight Powell, and their 2018 first round pick. I don't know why it says top five protected on there, because I'm just assuming that that's just the way it's trade, so you have to trade it with those weird stipulations on there, but I'm assuming it's for this year's top five draft pick, which would be amazing. The fact that you're giving up Lou all day and giving up and getting a first round pick like that to get one of these pretty talented players up in the draft would be pretty awesome because Dallas gets their guy they really want and Julius Randle they need a, a big man to soon replace Dirk Nowitzki whenever he leaves but then they could also just wait and not make the trade and see if he picks them in the, the summer but it's tough too because the Lakers can match anybody because he is a restricted free agent so they can match any offer that's given to him so they are taking a chance on that, but let's get into the next one real quick. Should be Portland. Okay, and Portland is going to give the Lakers Damian Lillard for Lonzo Ball, the Luol Deng contract, and a 2019 first round selection. Just no protections on it, just straight up. It's obvious that why you would give it to a player like that you don't put any restrictions on your pick because if you get someone like that it'd be really good he's shown that he could lead a pretty crappy team whether it was a few years ago when he really had nobody once Lamarcus Aldridge left and then or when he was out too and then till now when he really only has like one or two guys and they're kind of at his position really so he's done really well by himself and if you add the players that will still get to keep in you know, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram as well, Josh Hart, then it could be pretty beneficial to him and our team. And you know, the Portland Trailblazers get a restart with Lonzo Ball and a first round pick next year. Should be interesting. It's a really intriguing pick right here. We'll see if this goes and definitely it helps lure LeBron and Paul George and any other future all-stars to the Lakers in the future. So trade with Oklahoma City Thunder, the Lakers get Paul George only, and this is where it kind of messed me up because I don't think they should make this trade. The Lakers will give up Josh Hart, the Lou Aldane contract, a 2019 first round pick, and a 2020 top three protected first round pick. It's giving up a lot for a player who kind of did okay last year, especially towards the end. He was good but not good enough because they couldn't even get out of the first round and he always has the chance to come to the Lakers anyways during free agency without having to give up so much for him kind of like the Dallas and Julius Randle situation you're kind of taking a, a choice and uh, you might as well take that option instead of giving up so much especially so much of your future in first round the Lakers past management did that and that's why the Lakers are so screwed up right now so we'll get to the main enchilada right here, the very final pick for that Lou Aldane contract. This seems pretty logical coming from the San Antonio Spurs. The Lakers get Kawhi, Spurs get Brandon Ingram, Lou Aldane, and they just swapped 2019 picks. So it's what we kind of always wanted and we're not really giving up that much, but the Spurs want a blockbuster type of trade. so. It might not work, but in most reasonable human beings, this is reasonable. So thanks for watching, people. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you all think. Enjoy your day off. You know, you guys, uh, all the veterans definitely deserve it. I don't know why we all get the day off. But thanks for watching, people. Like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day.